do that better. Here and here. And we're gonna follow that cowlick. I would do it on a 10. Okay, son, I need you not to move. And I use just the edge. And we never go down the bridge of the nose. And then what you want to do is lift up these eyebrows so they're nice and safe and out of the way. All right, and then all you want to do is take out the corners. So that then, when we... Okay, son, you gotta work with me though, my friend. Right? Can you... You can see through, even though we've not done the rest of the groom, right? Okay, then. So, as we're looking at this head, you're going to come between the eyebrows and then you're actually going to feel the bony ridge. So there's the bone, and we're going to come around. And this ends up, for the most part, looking like a triangle, okay? So with that 10 blade, we're going to come up. Now we don't want to go all the way to the ear. We're just coming around. And then we're gonna pull this beard. So from the corner of the eye, we're gonna pull that forward. There's the corner, it's just so you can see. Okay. So do you see how we're leaving this coat in front of the ear? So on the back side, of this Scotty's ear. We're gonna come through. So do you see how I'm leaving all of the coat in that area, this area of the ear? But when you look at a Scotty, you should have no draggles coming off the side. You see what I mean by that? Nothing should stick past, and we're even going to clean up this. Now, if you've ever been confused by how to get a Scotty uh, ear, like where the tufts come from, one of the quickest tricks is just to put the ear in like an envelope, right? And that bend is where this tuft, the marker of how tall we're going to do it, okay? So always place the flesh flat against your own so that we don't have any issues, that's safety. I'm on a 30 for the inside of the ear. And you can start to see, oh, hang on. You can start to see how clean this whole outside of the ear is. Okay, then on a 10. Now we're gonna go, um, if you're looking at it this way, we're coming straight off, okay? Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Fold the ear in, the excess coat. And then with blenders. Right. And then this starts to lead in. And those are your tufts. I would like that one to sit a little nicer. And then for eyebrows. So again, we never scissor at an eye. We always scissor away from an eye. So you can start to see we're getting that beautiful window. And then If you want to do more blending, you can use your either the tips of your shears or your blenders. It's whatever's easiest for you. <laughs> you silly boy. I'm holding the beard down with my thumb here so that I don't unintentionally get any of it. And then as that hangs, So do you see, when we look now, that you can see through, right, his eyebrows. Uh, then we have to do the other side. So I'm going to put my thumb there to protect the beard coat. That's his eyebrow. Now here, because we're coming from a different angle. I literally can come that way quite easily, right? So that that just has this perfect scoop, okay? Then again, we would blend. Right? And when our eyebrows sit correctly, you should be able to see straight through, which you can, right? And straight through right there. So when I put my hands on the other side, you can literally see the color going through at the bridge of the nose. And then again, to blend this out, you can use your blenders so that it looks like it just happened, right? And then I want to clear this up a bit.
Right? And there is a beautiful Scotty head. Right? And you just clean it up as you need to, but that is your profile. Uh, honestly, with a beard, I don't touch beards, but again, it's owner preference if you're going to do this. So if you're looking at it from this angle, you could brush that or comb that down like I just did and come at it at that angle, right? So about uh, 45 to this straight line that's here and then blend it out so it looks a little bit more natural. And very quickly. You can see our Scotty.